<laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm right by the sea, as you can see. Um, never heard of those days um, when it feels like there's just a little one little black cloud above your head and it's raining on you. Yeah. <laughs> one little black cloud. Blue skies everywhere else. <laughs> one little black cloud. Blue skies that way. And I'm getting rained on. <laughs> well, I was a few seconds ago anyway. Um, happy birthday, everybody. How are you doing? What a wonderful time it is to be alive. <laughs> um, welcome to the first day of the rest of your life. Um, because every day is your birthday if you choose to celebrate life. And why wouldn't you want to celebrate life when there's a little black cloud over your head raining upon you? <laughs> it's just a bit of fun, isn't it? Um, so I've listened to a bit of Les Brown this morning, um, basically saying don't give up. Um, and I came along here and I kind of wanted to walk along. You can see this, uh, the top of this hing, but there's signs all the way along that say vertical drop, vertical drop, do not climb up. So of course I was unwilling to climb up onto it, climb up onto it. Um, although now you can see it's actually quite wide, so it'd be very easy to go and stand on it um, and not be in any real danger, um, especially if you walk along this side of it. Of course, there is still a danger. You don't want to fall in, do you? Um, but uh, it is what it is. I've also checked that it is low tide. Um, we're not coming up to high tide. Um, we are just heading down to low tide. <laughs> Sorry, we're coming down. Low tide is at four o'clock this afternoon. High tide was about an hour ago. I was just going down this um, down here to do my live from down here. There's not actually a very good signal down the bottom here, so we're going to see how we get on because this is where I wanted to start my live this morning. But I was a bit worried about the tide coming in while I was down here, and so I uh, went back up to the top to find out when high tide was because, as you'll see in a moment, <laughs> I wouldn't want to be stuck here <laughs> where there's no way out. <laughs> well, apart from climbing up onto the rocks, I guess, with the, with the tide coming in here and then finding myself up to, well, I'm guessing the high tide probably comes up to here, maybe, um, when it comes in. But it's not coming in, it's currently going out, so we're good. <laughs> we're good to go. Um, but I don't know how well the signal's going to last down here, so I am going to move. I am curious, however, to know what, what's going on over there. It looks like the edge of a house sitting on there. It's a bit odd. Um, I'm guessing this is a beach at some point, because it did actually say beach. So I'm guessing that when the tide goes out, there's actually a beach here. Which is quite interesting. Um, I'll check that out another day, when I come in a bit earlier in the day. Um, the harbour that I was going to go to is just around the corner, so I'm going to head over there while I'm talking to you. Um, anyway, happy birthday. Happy birthday to uh, three people today. Um, Katie Cooper, Jennifer Evans, all ladies, uh, and Zest Concierge. I've left Zest Concierge's full name in the um, description because obviously it's not a real person <laughs> it's a business oh it's a little bit quieter right here isn't it oh, i thought i could cut up there but i can't <laughs> this could be interesting i wonder where i can cut from this car park up and get into I mean, these are all back gardens of people's back gardens i don't know i think i can't we have to go all the way around yeah it looks like i might have to go all the way around anyway um, how are you doing today? Uh, I want to talk about not giving up. Uh, it's my little mini topic today. It's going to be a mini topic because I haven't really thought about this too much. It's taken me uh, quite a bit of time this morning to uh, get out the house. Oh, there you go. A bit of house hanging off the edge there. And a little sort of, it looks like a cave going on there as well. Good. It's a nice little lighthouse up there. I might do a live from up the top of the little lighthouse one of these days as well. Little tour of Ilfracombe for everybody who's on my lives. Um, just for a bit of fun. You see the sunshine coming over there as well. It's a nice little, little sort of coastal road thing going around the outside there. Uh, and then there's a little tour at the top there. So these are all good little runs along the coast. Um, which is kind of fun. So never giving up. So this is me, <clears throat> this is me never giving up uh, on my dream. Hello viewer, by the way. Thank you for watching. Uh, I'm just gonna double check the uh, signal. Uh, the signal's not very good, so probably a bit jumpy and dirty, dodgy in here. Um, <laughs> so anyway, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to talk about sort of not giving up. So the view's better, aren't we? The sunshine's coming in my face. Oh, look. Oh, there you go. So now, you see? You see, I didn't give up. It was a little bit of rain earlier on, raining down on my head, and now we have the sun shining on my head. How lovely. <laughs> um, yes, so... Uh, Yes, not giving up on my dream to um, start helping people to uh, get off antidepressants. That's my uh, my main dream. 
I don't think I'm going to be able to get down to the, uh, the harbour bay, which is where I planned to go originally. So we're going to have to go all the way back round and then back down along, along the front. And it's going to get noisy and busy and stuff down there, so let's not do that. Um, my dream, never giving up on my dream to... Uh, um, here you go, here's the signs that I was talking about earlier on. Vertical drop. <laughs> Keep off. Actually, it's back to front for you guys, isn't it? So there you go, try this as well. There you go. Danger, vertical drop, keep off. And of course, from up here, you're like, I don't know what it's actually like. <laughs> How deep is that? <laughs> Good out. Um, but uh, yeah, anyway. So, never giving up. Yes, um, I've been going and going at this and going at this, and going at this for a long, long time. Um, started in 2014 um, when I did my first event in October 2014. And actually, interestingly, my first. Uh, event I did in 2014, uh, which was called Breakthrough 2014, UK, I think it was called actually. Um, uh, and we did a whole day, we did a fire walk at the end of the day, we had a guy there doing glass breaking and arrow breaking as well, oh, sorry, a glass walking rather, and arrow breaking. It was a great, great day out. Um, we had some good food, held it at my old school, Dean Close in Cheltenham. Um, and I had about 50 odd people in the room and I thought it was gonna be uh, a big event and I thought it was gonna be the big start of something big. Um, but I actually lost money running it because I really designed the event for 500 people to fill the theatre at Dean Close School, um, all paying me about £50 each. The, I think the official ticket price was £97 uh, and then we had a, like a, an early, early adopter reduction to 50 47 or something like that. Um, I can't remember now, it was a long time ago. But I only had 50 people buying tickets so, uh, and we scaled it down and we scaled it down again um, and we had it in a small little room um, and it was good. It was a good event. Um, a lot of people had a lot of breakthroughs from it. Um, and, uh, and I had a lot of people at the end of the day saying, can we book for next year uh, when you do it again? And I had planned it doing a two day event the following week, following year. Um, apparently I've got no signal. <laughs> That's rubbish, isn't it? I'm gonna head back up to where I was before. Hopefully get the signal back again. Hello viewer, by the way, again. Um, this has been a bit of a disaster, this one, hasn't it? But don't give up, never give up, never giving up. Um, so, and if you want to watch the full version, by the way, if this has cut out uh, or it's really bad quality sound or whatever, um, check it out on YouTube because at the end of this, I always say download the video and then it's usually a high quality version and all my videos go up onto YouTube. So youtube.com forward slash John V Denley, if you want to check them out over there. Uh, they usually put them onto Instagram as well. Um, so same thing, instagram.com forward slash John V Denley. Um, see if I can get a slightly better signal here because there's a gap between the trees and houses and stuff over there. Um, uh, um, it's like a cool restaurant there as well, I think. Isn't it? Back of a cool restaurant. Let's just flick this around. It's a bit funky, isn't it? Nice little view of this view here. Very nice. Um, I think I've been in that restaurant, actually. I can't remember. Um, many years ago, when I came here in 2015, um, <laughs> when I was trying to get started, um, so, yeah, so I ran that event in 2014, rather. Um, 50 people in the room, uh, it was a good event. Lots of people asking me if I can book for next year. And I was gonna do a two day event the following year, um, do it over the, the weekend when we changed the clocks in the UK, uh, which then means you get an extra hour in bed um, because you put the clocks back overnight on the Saturday night. So you go a bit of a party Saturday night, get an extra hour in bed and start again the next morning, the Sunday morning, which I thought would be a really cool idea. Uh, after we've done the firewalk, obviously. Uh, and also the firewalk will be when it's still dark early on um, in the evening, because then the next day, of course, it's much lighter, much earlier, so um, it wouldn't work quite so well. I get a good view of this, uh, this house thing here. So it's just that. Zoom in a bit. That just looks like the roof of a house, doesn't it? Quite strange. Um, so yeah, but the problem is I lost nearly 5,000 pounds running that event. Uh, in 2016 because of course I was expecting another 250 people to be paying me 50 odd pounds per head um, and obviously I would have made a lot of money if that had been the case um, but um, and so I got scared and I didn't do it again in 2015 um, I did a smooth, few smaller events in 2015 got a lot of press coverage in 2015 so that was pretty cool um, but I uh, didn't stick at it and then I went and walked the Camino de Santiago in 2016 and then I started Neptune Rum at the end of 2016 and throughout 2017. Um, and that didn't quite go to plan because that was supposed to generate me enough money to uh, get started again, um, get my cash flow going again. Didn't quite work out that way. 
Although Neptune Run is going, Neptune Run is do, Neptune Rum is going very well now. Check it out. Go and Google Neptune Rum, and you'll see that business I started in 2016, 2017. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, and then I paid somebody. Uh, I did get some money from that eventually in 2019, I think it was. And then I paid somebody to set up all my online programs uh, in 2019. It didn't quite go to plan either. Um, and uh, so I lost all that money and started to start all over again. Um, at the beginning of 2020, I learned how I trained with Joe Howarth, Happiness Howarth, to be a Happiness Club trainer. Um, and then pandemic, January 2020, um, came along, didn't it? So I couldn't go and do all this training in businesses and in primary schools on emotional intelligence. Um, so I didn't quite work out, did it? Um, so I had to re re rebuild again during 2020. Um, and then I've been working with uh, Coach Vicky to get everything back in line again. So, um, and now, finally, finally, now I'm down here in Ilfra Coombe and I've got, uh, well, six more weeks now to, to finally get everything put together and make everything make sense, get it together. And I finally just started, nailed it down that I want to help people to get off antidepressants um, as my sort of single one thing. So if you find anybody who's on antidepressants or is struggling with depression and wants to sort themselves out, let me know. Um, I was helping a guy last night who I met in one of the groups. Um, uh, he was asking questions and I was, and, and it's funny because when I was talking to him, um, I was, I was, I could feel the, the pain and I'm remembering the time when I was in this pain um, of, of being, struggling with depression myself. Um, and how you just don't see anything as being positive. You don't see anything good in your life at all. Um, and then you, but what I was, what I could see is that, oh yeah, but you're doing these little things. You, you're making this little bit of progress. You're doing that little bit of thing. Um, um, and so I could feel myself going, yeah, this is, this is definitely where, I'm, where my, my talent lies because you can see, you can really help people to start to see, I mean, I don't know if, if I have helped or not yet, but um, obviously it's just early days, but um, if you can help people see through the fog of the negativity of, of depression um, and just see those little tiny things, those little tiny wins, so um, one example uh, I was giving somebody, somebody else a couple of days ago uh, was, for example, <laughs> I mean, it's a ridiculous example, but it's this, this sort of thing that when you get struck in depression, uh, you really struggle with, um, or at least seeing the positivities of this. <clears throat> I was saying to them, the thing is, you're going to the toilet every day in a toilet. <laughs> you are making a conscious choice um, to get out of your bed, get out of your chair, walk to the toilet, use the toilet <laughs> um, and then go back to your chair or your bed or wherever it is you're at um, rather than just staying where you are because you can't be bothered to get up and going to the toilet in your chair or in your bed <laughs> that's a win that is a win no matter how how, how bad you feel uh, that can be classed as a win as an achievement as a success um, i just realized i didn't put a timer on this i've got no idea how long i've been talking for um, which is always really annoying on Facebook. I always give you a little timer so you can say how long I've been talking for. Um, if anyone can tell me, by the way, feel free. I can see there's one viewer on here. I don't know whether you can tell me um, what's actually going on there. I can't even see who you are. So if you could let me know who you are as well, that'd be great. Um, so yeah, um, every little thing can be classed as a win. Um, even waking up in the morning is a win. I've talked about this a few times on here. And welcome to the first day of the rest of the life. What is, isn't it wonderful to be alive? You've woken up this morning and you are alive and you've decided that today is a day you're gonna have another go at life. You're gonna try again at life to go. You're gonna never give up. You're not gonna give up on your life um, at, this, at this stage. Not right yet, right now, you're not gonna give up. Um, and you're gonna give it another go. You've got a day today. You're going, you know, I'm out here today. What is it? It's, it's coming up to 11 o'clock. You can see that. Um, I'll flip the camera, there you go. Yeah. Can you see that? No, I'll flip around. Flip around, camera. There we go. 11.40. Very late running today. <laughs> um, very late running today, but um, it's 11.40. Um, I've still got you know, nine hours or so left of today before I start going to bed and start winding down about 9, 9.30. Well, 9.30 is when I start winding down for the evening. I was chatting uh, yesterday with a, a lady in America uh, who is on Instagram. Her name is Lawyer K, K K A E, Lawyer K A E. Um, she does some really cool stuff on, on legal matters, mostly American, of course, so um, not particularly relevant if you're in the UK. But if you're in America, go check her out because she gives free advice, free lawyer advice on a regular basis on Instagram. Lawyer K, K A E. Um, 
and uh, and she was saying, yeah, what's your what's your morning routine or something like that, and it was one of those sort of questions you get on Instagram, and it's like, well, you only get like two lines you can reply on. I said, wait, well, I can't tell you about my morning routines in just two lines, and she wrote me a direct message and she said, well, okay, well, tell me in direct messages what your full routine is and I was like oh crikey okay well it starts the night before she actually asked me about the evening routine so I talked about the evening routine about the choose happy process you know, that I've designed and by the way if you want the choose happy choose happy thoughts process um, let me know um, that's very gonna be very close to be finished today I've got to do some videos for that before I finish it off um, and tidy it all up but anyway let me know in your comments if you see that and you want that um, uh, and then that runs into the morning and then you have a whole morning routine. Now my morning routine this morning has been all over the place because my battery ran out on my phone and so my alarms didn't go off. That's why I'm a bit late today. Um, forgot, to forgot to plug it into charge last night. These things happen. Um, and um, uh, yes, so and then I told her about my morning routine and then she came back this morning and I saw a message from her, obviously last night, her time. And she said, wow, this is amazing. This is really cool stuff. Um, I'm going to start changing some of my uh, things based on uh, what you've said. And I'm like, oh, cool. I didn't know how useful that would be. Um, so yeah, just talking about my morning routines and the things that I do to help keep my mental health strong um, and keep myself thinking positively um, and making sure that my mental strength is so strong that um, no matter what happens to me, I, I never go back into that negativity of depression, um, uh, of massive anxiety, stress um, and the suicidal thoughts that I used to have on a fairly regular basis um, back in the old days. I don't have any of that anymore because I've worked on it. I put the effort in. Uh, I've said before a few times, uh, if you want to become ace, um, you need to become aware of the problem. You need to make choices, better choices, and you need to put effort in over time. Uh, A-C-E. Yeah. A-C-E. Um, um, yeah, so I never gave up. Didn't want to give up. And now I feel very positive. I don't struggle with depression anymore. Uh, and I now want to help other people to also recover from depression and, and get themselves into a position where they're, they are mentally strong and they will never struggle, never struggle with depression ever again. Um, naturally as well, without any pills or potions or whatever. Um, just, and actually, it's going to work for everything as well. It works for all of your strengths. And actually, we've just seen um, Simone Biles, um, American gymnast, pull out because of her mental health. Uh, and I, honestly, I just I wish I was famous enough so I could go and say, hey, do you want me to help you out here and, and help you out figure out what's going on with your head there? Um, because it's, it's going to be a story inside her head. It's going to be ex experiences that she's had in the past. It's going to be stuff that's happened to it uh, that, that's then repeated. And she's got this negative voice inside her head that's telling her that she's not good enough or um, not successful enough or something or fat or, or not tall enough. I, I don't know. I don't know what they are. I have no idea. Um, but uh, there'll be these negative stories that's repeating inside her head and it's causing her to not focus, not be able to focus on what she wants to do. Uh, and same thing, we saw the same thing with the uh, tennis player, Naomi Osaka. Um, it's, it's just your head gets a bit messy. Um, and sometimes you can spiral down into this cycle and you just can't get out of it. You can't see the positivities, you can't see the good stuff. Um, but once you've got all the right tools and techniques and tricks and stuff in your, in your, in your tool bag, it's so much easier to see the positive in everything. Um, even including the little black cloud I had earlier on above my head that was raining on me. Um, it was just there. Cool, anyway, I think that's me. I've probably spoken way over 15 minutes. That's gonna be very annoying because it's not gonna work for Instagram. So if you're watching this on Instagram, go check it out on YouTube if you want the full thing. Oh, and actually I've got a timer on here, so it's counting down um, 55 seconds left before Facebook's gonna get cut off. So, right, that's definitely me done. Um, I am going to send you loads of love. Look at that, look at that. Send you all love. Send love out to the world. Tell people you love them. Um, have a lovely day and I'll see you tomorrow with a slightly better, more organized chat. But maybe this was good. Sometimes these uh, very personal chats can be very uh, helpful for some people. Take care guys, bye for now. Love you all.